Hi Simmers, in this video I'm going over how to install the Sleep All Night mod. This is by Little Miss Sam. You will need the XML injector for this mod, so please make sure you keep that in mind. To access the XML injector, you will click it right here. If you already have the XML injector installed, then you don't need to reinstall it. The only time you need to do that is if it needs to be updated, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the file section. We're going to get the latest updated version, which is July 18th. In the case that you guys just click the download button up here, it's automatically going to download the most updated version. Okay, so you don't have to worry about, you know, an old version. Okay, once you do that, go ahead and go to the XML injector tab that you should have open now. If you click that link that I told you guys before. Go ahead and select files and you can click on this right here and select download or like I said, go to that top right corner and uh, download from there. After it's done downloading, you want to locate your downloads. Okay, so to do that, you got to go to the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and select your file explorer for Windows users. For Mac users, it's going to be Finder. After you've done that, go ahead and locate that downloads folder and you will see the two zip files. That Little Miss Sam Sleep All Night file, we're going to right click it and select Extract All. After you've done that, click Extract. For Mac users, you just have to double click the zip and it'll open in a blue folder. In the case that you guys are using some kind of extractor app, just right click and open it through that app. That option should be popping up somewhere along the lines of extracting. <laughs> After that, right click the XML injector and extract that. For the people who already have it, you obviously do not have to do this part. This is for people who do not have it. Okay? So we're going to put this in a comfortable position, go to the bottom of the screen, right click the file explorer icon for Mac users, it's finder. Go ahead and select that documents folder. After you've done that, select the EA folder in the in, in the case that you guys can't find the EA folder, EA folder, please just go ahead and reload your game. Your computer's having trouble identifying that you have a Sims 4 game. It's okay. Once you locate the Sims 4 folder, go ahead and double click on the mods folder. After you are in the mods folder, you want to make sure that you just grab the folder you just opened, not the zip file. Once you do that, you want to drag it into the folder. Okay. When you double click, this is what you should see. And then you're going to go ahead and get the XML injector and you're going to drag that in here too for the people who do not have it. Okay. So how you would do that is you hold it and drag it in. All right. I already have XML injector as you guys can see right here. So when you double click, these are what you guys should see. If you don't see that, you need to make sure that you drag it in the XML injector. <laughs> Once you're done with that, guys, I highly suggest going into your game option settings and making sure that you enable the script for mods and the custom content mods if you guys do not know how to do that i do have a video going over that on my sims 4 channel so go ahead and check that out it is called how to do your game option settings for mods if you guys still need some help i have two ebooks that are readily available for you guys and you guys can download that to your phone so if you're installing mods and you're having trouble you'll have access to some kind of help all right thank you guys for watching if this was helpful let me in the comment section below like the video comment below what you loved about this video and save this and share it with your friends and sub to the channel thank you guys so much for watching and i'm wishing you a wonderful rest of the day